mine was to go and see boys. Like, I like boys, right? No shame. <laughs> oh, hey guys, how's everything? It is real life experience episode two. And have I told y'all before, you guys have considered as my friends because I am more of an introverted person. I can be very awkward and I'm a shy person. I really do not know how to make much friends. Hence, I've been in the UK for like six years now and I do not have friends. It's not the most exciting thing to say, but that is why I take Sukkot too online my online friends I haven't said on this episode of sharing life experiences we primarily get to talk about all experiences i've introduced that in the previous episode so that is why today's episode i have titled it my nightlife as a uni undergraduate so given that i am extroverted and i really do not have friends you all are my friends so I am allowed to come on here and be open and probably be vulnerable at times. Just be open the way I'm going to just with my friends. I'm also looking forward to the day I'm going to have a guest here. Could be one of you watching. Yes, I'll be very happy. So we sit down and have this conversation and just share our life experiences because what well, time passes and nobody knows tomorrow. So we might as well just relish our life experiences for the records for posterity. So that's why today's episode is dedicated to sharing my a part of my night life <laughs> as I titled it as a uni undergraduate. So I'm the type of girl who's a good bad girl. Like I went to Imo State University in Oweri and um, then I am this funky kind of girl. I really kind of explain myself 100% but I guess you can just catch a glimpse from you over there. Think about, I'm currently 32. So think about a 16 or 15 year old Iberia, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, I graduated at 20. So within the space of five years, I spent in the university, it was actually supposed to be four years, but Nigerian university system, I'm talking strike happened, so it extended to five years. So within these five years, I spent in uni. I've been this type of girl who likes to, I'm mean, usually the kind of girl you find with guys, right? In the sense that most of my friends are boys and then the girls, I really don't know. Look, I'm going to be open and vulnerable, yeah? I really don't know why I have, I do not have this very perfect, let me not say perfect. I find it hard or it's just hard for me to have female friends. I really don't know why. The few female friends I have are the ones I had growing up like the ones I had in church and then maybe one or two from primary secondary school and that's it really anyway I used to be that girl who likes to go to club like with my hostel girls like okay there's this one of my hostel friends back then her name is Amaka we will go to the club <laughs> Now, this club we used to go to um, All Seasons Hotel in Uwere and part of the reasons why we like to go to this club or which is a no-brainer right is to go and see boys okay some other people have different reasons why they go to club but mine was to go and see boys like I like boys right no shame <laughs> and my university did have guys but it was more like the guys from this other school or this school had more guys or the guys in this school were more of like my spec or fall into the spec thing spectrum <laughs> so this school is a photo federal university of technology over here. so then when we go to the club we want we look forward to meeting photo boys and i'm this girl that i like i like shakara like shakara eh? i like to be on my own even if i like something i could give the body language 
okay, I like this, but I will not go, I like it, or I like it. No, I'll do my normal chakra. That's what makes me feel really feminine and makes me feel me more. So uh, when we go to the club, then we meet with boys from the school. I am not... I'm not one person who likes to take alcohol, right? But I try to, because naturally I can be very hyperactive. So I try not to take alcohol. So I be in control of my senses, you know? So the most I took there was smell of eyes, right? And, but that was then. I tell you till now, the last time I took alcohol was in 2017 or 2018. 20, what am I saying? No, 2000, 2008, 2008 was the last time I, you know, actively took alcohol. So I naturally did not like the taste of alcohol. Plus the fact that I said I am, you know, hyper. So I like to be in control of my senses. So then, you know, when we hang out with, when we go to the club, we're always looking at boys. I'm, I'm, I'm in my corner checking. Mm, does that boy make sense? Mm, no, not really. That one. Mm, I think that one is fine. And then 90 times out of 100, no, not even 90, 99 times out of 100, the guys I fancy, fancy me too. So. It just happens. And if I should, should I go deeper? Okay, let me. If I should tell you for that, even when I get to, like, we get to hook up, you know, have conversation in the club, go to the hostel, and this kind of girl who, you know, this bad virgins. <laughs> That's the kind of girl I was. Like, all this, only the tip type of girl, or no, only hold me and then when you guys are holding and doing a little mm, mm, i'll be like wait so what's going on here <laughs> shameless plug i am that girl that at times when i look back now i'd be like hmm okay you don't know like you miss out anyway i will not really if i still look at it you know in a in on the flip side, I will not really conclude that I did miss out on, you know, certain or certain flexing and high life or different kind of youthful exuberances in the sense that it actually saved me a whole lot. Like it saved me heartbreak, saved me probably health conditions or anything or things that come with doing so many bad things. Let's put it that way. So especially the fact that i've never been heartbroken like i've never had anybody i've never had had the experience of knowing how it feels to be heartbroken like somebody broke my heart because i never get emotionally involved you know and i really appreciate that for those days for me those uni undergraduate days for me were just fun 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 nothing too serious no serious attachments Hey, let me tell you this interesting part. Do you know that the most of my days in uni, I hardly cooked? Like, people knew me <laughs> in my hostel then as this one girl who never cooks. Like, when I go to the kitchen and I get to cook then in the hostel, even before I started living in a more self-contained apartment, they usually surprised, like, eh, hey, hey, B, you're in the kitchen. Can you name in the kitchen? You know, they spoke Igbo a lot in my uni then, especially the girls who grew up in the East. They'd be like, what are you doing in the kitchen? Because usually I'm coming back with one takeaway or the other. Even then in 100 level, 200 level thereabout, some girls who were my roommates, they were always expecting that when I come back, every time I go out and come back, I'm always coming back with food. Like I'm always coming back with chicken, so many things because I'm the girl who's always been taken out. As one of my favorite hangout spot then, crunches. I'll go to crunches, like some, I'll be in class and then I'll get message, pim on my phone, hey, very hi, I'd like to hang out with you, where can we meet? And I'll be like, crunchies or what or what are those restaurants in Uwe? I'll just mention some of my favorite, Jeff Nicks. Ah, God, yo, if any of you can relate like to what I'm saying, please leave it in the comment section. And even if you're not school in my school, please tell me, because that's the whole idea, right, of this video. When I share, when we share experiences, let's just gist and, you know, 
ease off. Life is not too serious like that. So there's like, this restaurant here, yeah, Jevnix. Oh my goodness. I'll be like, oh yes, today could be Jevnix. Tomorrow, Mbari Kitchen. Next tomorrow, like this is how your baby girl was leaving. Like I was leaving from restaurant to restaurant. All bills, all expenses paid. I don't think you'll judge me because I mean, I, I was a good girl yeah and that pretty much was my life and I was this girl who's always dropped off in cars cars this car dropped me that car dropped me and when you look people might just want to guess that huh all these girls are often the chairman that's what they call them <laughs> like around girls kind of thing but shockingly let me tell you that's not always the case because me I for one I never get intimate with any of those you know dates i went to then it's just for food just for fun just just for the fun of catching crews like i'm a fine girl and everybody be taking me out that kind of thing and they be dropping me in my hostel and people be seeing me in fine cars and that's just it that was just what it was the ones i actually liked were my fellow university boys and then whom the most they could do for me then was probably cook indomie for me or fry egg <laughs> and then we just in the hostel pretty much it i'm thinking we should just end this particular episode here this nightlife episode here yeah so that next time we'll have more things to gist about and i'll also like you to tell me tell me your own experience in the comment section and tell me what you like us to gist about next that's finished i'll see you in the next episode <laughs>